Hello everyone, welcome to this lesson. So in this lesson we're going to do a little test just to make sure that you know how to name alkanes, alkenes, alkynes and halo alkanes. We've got the table on the right here for you and we've also got the general layout that you need to remember which is attachments, table and then homologous. So let's get started. Here's molecule number one. So we can always start with table. So we count the number of carbons in the main chain which is going to be four. So that's going to be BUT, we can write that down. We then need to look at what type of molecule this is. So we look at the homologous part and we can see that this is an alkene. Now on what carbon is that taking place? Well we always name it from the side closest to the double bond. So that will be on carbon number one. And so what we can say is that over there. Then we look at any attachments. Well, the only attachments we have is hydrogen, so we don't write those ones down. That's standard for organic chemistry, and so this is the name of that molecule. Here's the next one. So we start with table, so we look for the longest continuous carbon chain. So this one's nine, and so that's going to be non. And then it's an alkane, so we add the word ane. So we've done the homologous, we've done the table, and then there aren't any attachments besides hydrogen, and that's normal. So this one is called non-ane. Step one is always to identify the longest continuous chain, which in this one is five. So that's pent. So we've done the table part. Then the homologous, well this is an alkane, it's technically a halo alkane, but we're not going to write here pent halo alkane. We pretend that it's an alkane, so we say pentane, and then any attachments will go in the front. And so that's this one. Now that is taking place on carbon number two. Remember, you always want to go, f you want to make your attachments have the lowest number possible. If we started on this side, then it would be on carbon number one, two, three, four. So then it's on carbon number two, and that, that attachment is called chloro, like that. And then between any number, and a word, we must draw a line. Notice I don't put a line in between two words. And so that molecule is called 2-chloropentane. With this one, we look at the number of carbons in the main chain, and so there we find three. So three is prop, so we can write down the word prop. We then know that this is an alkyne, and that triple bond is on carbon number one, so we can do this. And then we look for any attachments, which there aren't any. So this one is called prop one Ine. You could, if you wanted to, just call it propine because you can't have the triple bond anywhere else but on carbon number one. Pause the video if you want, test me on that, there's no way that it would work out. So you could call it, but what I suggested in previous videos was to just always stick to the format that we have here. So with this one, we just look at the table, or we first look at how many carbons, that's five, and so that's pent. We then look at what type of molecule it is, it's it's an alkane, so we just say pentane, and then we look for any attachments, we don't see any, and so that is called pentane. Starting off with the carbons, we see that there would be, or well, that there are, one, two, three, so that's prop. Then we see that it's a halo alkane, so we know that those just ends with ane, and then on carbon number one, we have a chloro, like that. So here we identify the longest continuous chain, and that's four, five, six, so that's hex. We see then that it's a halo alkane due to the fluorine molecule atom being attached. So we know that halo alkanes just end with ane, and then on carbon number two. How did I get that? That's carbon number one, carbon number two. If we named it from the other side, it would be on carbon number five, and we don't do it like that. So on carbon number two, we have a fluoro. So I know it's fluorine, but when it's an attachment, we call it fluoro, like that. And so that's it, guys. I think by now you guys have the basics of how to name those molecules. So well done. 